Hello, and we're back at the Sierra Madre, and uh, I managed to get inside the theater now uh, without the game crashing. I uh, set up some uh, gas pumps and some uh, construction demolition uh, charges in the lobby, so the next wave of uh, the ghost hooks uh, should be surprised a little bit. But now with the theater, the problem is that uh, the speakers, uh, the system speakers are on. I don't know where to turn them off. Movement is very limited, and there's this uh, ramp backstage to which I can't get. Let's see, the lovers don't have a key. Oh, and also, all my withdrawals just kicked in at once. stage because the speakers are off on the stage. Oh, they are off in front of the stage as well. That's good to know. Uh -huh. okay. So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. <laughs> Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. <laughs> now that I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. Me? I was halfway off the rooftop, through the service <laughs> tunnel, and beelining for the gate before the light show started. And before Vera finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. Ghost people. Lots of them. <laughs> but that was your problem. Anyway, front gate was open. No way I was letting you get in first. <laughs> I walk in. There's a flash. And I'm here. Must have been Sinclair's security. <laughs> he always had a thing about letting any threats into the casino. Security system's twitchy that way. <laughs> Me, though, I'm a guest here, so I guess I got the royal treatment after all. Stupid? <laughs> no, playing it smart. You're the dumb one, waltzing in here without realizing who the headliner is. Time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. <laughs> Security can handle it from here. No, no, the collars. <laughs> I know what happened now. Sure, mine activated. But it feels different, the electronic tap dance inside. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you <laughs> to a crisp. Hands are clean. Then smooth sailing <laughs> to the Sierra Madre. Way I figured it, you'll try and run for the exit. And only I know where the key is. And where the safest place in the whole theater is. Backstage. You, you're trapped down there. And you couldn't shut off the speakers, unlock the doors, or cancel mm. security if you tried. What? What now? Try and come back here? No, you mm. belong out in the audience. I mean, not like 
Uh, you could get backstage. That key you snagged, it won't work. No. Of all the... <laughs> Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Even if you get back here, you won't live long, trust me. Manual save here again because we're about to start one hell of a run here. Oopsie. Oops. Okay. No. This is not good. So I should run to the other side immediately then. find the computer. Progress. Um, about the dressing room. <sighs> no, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have to get stuck in the toilet at the crucial moment. That's fun. Okay, at 
that we are safe in this corner. Let's check the dressing room again. <laughs> what do we have here? blackmailing Vera about something I guess inside are now offline but there is still some some kind of emitter in here. I really could use Christine's help right now. be addicted to different uh, kinds of booze. So, can't 
Gabriel and Hala have to enter Veal's room. Some things are better left in the past. You've lost some moustache. Speakers are no. So, what was I supposed to do again? Photo tape projector, that's up there, I presume. like looking away what's happening they are oh they are turning yellow okay run 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 question is how do I get up there? Yeah, I guess the access somewhere somewhere behind here. to should have an emitter here. Uh, it should be somewhere here actually.
water bottle. Still wash now. Looks the same. Oh, okay. That was easy. I didn't realize that uh, the store wasn't uh, leading to the same corridor. Another big fat manual save here. All right, you're resourceful. I'll give you that. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same. You'll be clawing at the lock until uh -huh. your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town. How about... you sit down this time? Lucky guess. You sure about that? Because if you make a mistake, well, Sierra Madre's got us both. <laughs> all right, all right, look, I'll hand it over, I promise. No need to get all upset. <laughs> we can both come out ahead in this. Look, I give you this key, and there's nothing to keep you from just killing me and running. And as I see it, I just gave up my ace in the hole. So, the only chance I've got left is making sure you don't leave. And there's no way in hell I'm letting you get to the Sierra Madre vault instead of me. Not after all this time. I waited an entire lifetime, <laughs> sitting in that villa, watching it all fall apart. Sinclair's Sierra Madre towering over everything? Untouched? Then you show up, thinking you can just take <laughs> it all from me. You and the old man running the show? I planned all this. I made it all happen. Not you. Sure, yeah. I have the key on me. I made other keys, too, to unlock the casino in ruin Sinclair, <laughs> finally. After all these years. No. Now. Now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. Kill me, I still win. You're never getting in the fort. Going to need a. Um, I wonder, is there an option to get him talking and not turning cross there? I'm gonna try again. Even if he will turn hostile in the end, uh, I will. Uh, I'll want to know about the other dialogue options. For example, about this uh, tape. 
they blackmail tape that he had and, and so on. turns hostile after all, then I guess my safest bet is to get near the door and then snipe from there. Okay, let's all right, talk. you're resourceful, I'll give you that. Yes. As I see it. Yes. So you don't just stop robbing <laughs> casinos, do you? What's that tape? Oh, the one with Sinclair's woman, Vera. What about it? You want me to give you a standing ovation? Blackmail is such a strong word. I asked her, she said yes, then she started to get cold feet. I blame Sinclair. He was such a victim that maybe she felt it would be too easy. It doesn't matter. Sinclair built this whole town to accommodate her. Same with the casino's voice lock. He wanted to make sure she had access to everything. And since I already had access to Vera, uh -huh. well, that meant I had access to the vault, too. What wasn't I blackmailing her with? Uh -huh. Chemus, indiscretions, more chemus. The usual Hollywood tune. Like Sinclair, people are the architects of their own misfortunes. Leave themselves wide open for someone to waltz right in and take what they want. As long as they take a single step into the trap, get a few pictures, get a little dirt, and that person's your piano. Vera? Medex was her thing. Even super-stimmed herself for the after-rush. Sick. What are you talking about? Medical report? Vera wasn't... the medics and super-stims. And here I thought she was trying to numb herself to the lights. Sinclair must have known, though. He was dense. Not in that way. But that doesn't make any sense. If she was sick, dying, then why build this place? Why start a damn casino and have her be the lock? Probably the vault doesn't include what you think it does. That's... Hmm. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't change anything. Sierra Madre is still waiting for us to crack it open. Us? Hmm, so now it's us. Because she could get closer to Sinclair than I ever could. He built this place for her. Well, after the two chanced to meet. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. <laughs> she smiled fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, cause of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. <laughs> Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist <laughs> in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. If 
few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out <laughs> its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. Problem? <laughs> All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone. Acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. <laughs> Never got mad at anything. Nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, <laughs> shining future in everything. So, I decided to take everything from him. Do to me. <laughs> what, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. <laughs> Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino, this big colossal monument, think it was for some woman? No. <laughs> all ego, all self-righteous in lights, fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs, bring him <laughs> down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. <laughs> I was going to prove it. Um, sounds like they had history before that. I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered mm. in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs. A little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned oh, her like an you, instrument. Huh? If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together little Miss Viriki's song in the right order. Sierra Madre mm -hmm. opens its legs when in business. Oh, so... Um... Always asking questions when you should be shooting. You're a piece of work, mm -hmm. I'll give you that. Up close and personal. And before he dies, we can check the computer. Oh, okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh. 
You have the last fragment. That's all I need. Now, go to the main lobby terminal. Thread the music sequence together. What? No, I'm just starting to look around now. And take some drugs. Picking up that interference frequency, same as the villa. Floor's live with speakers and radios. Keep an ear out. Watch the walls.
goes on this side, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's check. Oh yeah, it was near a vendor machine. First came. Whoa! Okay. No more friendly Vera. You're back. You sure you still want me here? Callers and all? <laughs> Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. Fine. I hear my collar beeping, though. I've got the route to the exit all mapped out. Around. Well, I can't like sore throat. Have to can't take it and let go. Seem though at the uh, ghosts only get to the lobby. Thank you for whatever you have done. I will remain here. Need to get my strength back. Okay. It is.
weapon. Will you? indeed work
deserves another big fat manual shape. And I think I'm gonna pause here for a little while and then resume with the uh, I think we're getting close to finale, so see you soon.